I've had a lot of comments on the dash of my truck. It's got quite a gauge layout. I custom order these trucks when I buy them and it's no different here. And I don't do it so much for the look. I do it because I want to know everything that's going on with this truck mechanically and that's why I order the full gauge package. So I'll tell you what I've got because I think they're all essential gauges. They're not for show. They're to help me monitor the living, the breathing, the functioning of the truck because the gauges will indicate to you when you've got a problem and you want to nip problems in the bud. You want to catch mechanical things early before they turn into big bad expensive things. So simply this is the speedometer and this is the tack and everybody knows what those do. That's what that's for. It's my engine oil temperature very important gauge and I've got the the most important gauges on the front face rather than the side face of the dash so engine oil temperature I don't like to see it over 200 degrees this is my oil pressure gauge now on this truck all trucks are different but this truck when it's cold it can run anywhere between 60 and 80 pounds but when the truck warms that it it usually runs about 45 to 50 pounds once the oil is warm and the truck's warmed up. This is my outside air temperature gauge. And I find this really important because it gives me an indication of when the wet road could be turning to icy road. So I, I think that's a very important gauge to have. Most trucks don't seem to have that gauge. That's an option. I wouldn't be without it. This is my water temperature gauge. Again, very important because I don't like to see this gauge over 200 degrees so when I'm pulling hills I watch this gauge very closely and if your motor gets hot it's not good for it so you want to keep an eye on that read your manual engine operating temperatures vary from engine to engine on mine I don't like to see it over 200 degrees my air pressure gauges primary and secondary on the needles here course you want to make sure that you're not losing air or that can be a real problem especially at a scale these are my fuel gauges left and right tank now this is this only seems to be a thing that that Peterbilt does give you individual gauges for each tank it's handy to know it's it's handy to know if you've got like a feed problem between the two tanks so it is kind of nice to know where the uh, where both tanks are now if I'm trying to run really really heavy and I don't like to do that but what I can actually do is is fill one tank and shut the other tank off so it only draws from from say this tank and then that allows me to load a minimum of fuel and keep my weight down and still monitor my fuel progress and burn without running the thing out of fuel because you don't want to do that once these things suck dry they don't like to go again so they're hard to prime you've got to You've got to be careful never to run them out of fuel. My volt gauge, very important of course. Anything below 13, you may have an issue. Manifold pressure gauge, basically shows how my engine's performing and it's good for monitoring your fuel mileage because I, tr I try to run at about 20 pounds or less whenever I can because once I get up into the 40s and the 60s and she's pulling hard you know you're burning fuel. My air brake pressure gauges here this is for the trailer this is for the truck. These are my rear end temperature gauges my front and rear diff important as well I don't like to see them over about 150 degrees unless you know you're down in Arizona or something like that they'll run a little warm and the same with my main transmission temperature gauge. All of these things monitor oil temperature and oil doesn't like to get too hot or the, the truck doesn't like it when the oil gets too hot. So these days everybody uses synthetic oil. Still, it's good to keep an eye on your temperature gauges just to know what's going on with the front, the rear and the tranny. Exhaust temperature gauge, they used to call this a pyrometer. And again, you don't want to get the motor too hot. This is to help you prevent overheating the motor. Most trucks, you don't want to exceed 900 or 1,000 degrees. It sounds pretty hot, doesn't it? Well, it is. 
you don't want to be leaning against the raw pipes when the motor's that hot but basically you're helping engine you're helping your engine live longer if you keep your exhaust temperature below 900 degrees it's my rear suspension gauge the basically the air pressure on the fifth wheel is what this shows again they vary from truck to truck you'll get to know after you've loaded and scaled a few times and then checked your load gauge this truck when I've got 34,000 sitting on the drives it's at 60 pounds when you're sitting flat and level on my air pressure gauge so it's a good indicator of, of when you're loading somewhere and you're not near a cat scale you can check your gauge and see how close you are to your to your correct weight on the drives amp gauge shows when the system's charging or discharging if the system's discharging you've got an electrical problem this is my fuel filter vac gauge you need to operate that in the green and it, on this particular truck if i get above the five i know i've got a problem with these with this new diesel fuel i find it gels really easily in the cold weather so it's a good way to monitor your your um, your fuel filters so when i start to creep up towards the towards the red i've got bad fuel or the fuel starting to gel especially with this new crap fuel that they have nowadays that they've mandated it's an important gauge to have because you don't want to be on the side with a plugged up fuel filter changing one of those and 20 below or 30 below and i've done that and it's not very nice finally this is uh my uh, air cleaner gauge it you know honestly if you keep your your air filters up and clean which is important to do it, it really doesn't hardly register at all but the, an engine has to breathe it's got to be able to take in air as well as expel air so if you're having a problem if your engine's having a problem taking in air or breathing this gauge will indicate that you do have a problem and that's that's important too but if you do your maintenance regularly you'll probably hardly ever see this gauge move if you do see it up into the 20s and 30s you've got an issue finally this is my engine idle timer uh hankel gauge i believe they used to call them but um i can i can take the key out i can set the set this timer for 10 minutes or 15 minutes i can turn the key off lock the truck and walk away and this this timer will shut the the engine off in a matter of 10 minutes after it's cooled down so you've if you've been running hard you pull into a truck stop it's not good for them just to shut it off quick and walk away they should idle down and cool down a little so that's what basically this gauge is for is to let it cool down before it shuts off and you can also use it to to start the truck in the morning turn the gauge walk into the house with the key and this the truck will warm up for 15 minutes without shutting off and that's kind of a handy thing too with every gauge you order comes a price tag I, I can't honestly tell you what I've got in options here for gauges I probably a couple thousand dollars but I found it's been well worth it every time I've ordered a truck and had all these gauges because I know instantly when the truck's got an issue any issue and it saved me downtime like you wouldn't believe over the years because I can catch a problem early and get it fixed yes it's an investment when you're buying the truck but you'll get it back many times over in preventative maintenance and you'll get it back in resale as well and if you own the thing and you've got to drive it for a living you might as well like the truck I think that's important so the gauges are worth the money in my opinion.